Hello, everyone. My name is Joelle, and welcome to this 10-minute yoga sequence to stretch out our psoas muscle, so deep in the core. For today's practice, I would recommend that you have either one or two yoga blocks handy, and you can just set them off to the side for now, and we're going to begin on our backs. So take your time getting there, finding a comfortable position lying down, and then once you've arrived, we can pull the right knee in towards the chest. We're going to hold on with just the left hand as we reach the right hand up and overhead. So the back of the right hand is resting on the floor behind us. So the psoas is a deep core muscle. It joins the upper and lower body together. And it can get really tight and short for many of us, especially if we're sitting a lot. And that can cause issues with posture. It can cause lower back pain or pelvic pain. And so good for you for carving out some time today as we switch sides. So the right leg goes out long, the left knee comes towards the chest, holding on with the right hand as the left arm extends up and overhead. And you could close the eyes here, start to settle in some Deep breathing, maybe flexing the right foot, pressing that heel away from the body, and just noticing any sensations that come up here. Beautiful. And let's release that left knee. Take hold of your block or blocks now, as if you had them nearby. We're just going to lift the hips up in order to slide one or two blocks underneath the hips. And once you're there, you can keep the left foot planted on the mat and just press through that right heel to extend the right leg. So two blocks might be a little bit much for some of us. You might want to start with one or even sliding a rolled up towel or a pillow underneath can be a nice option as well. And the more you press that right heel away, chances are the deeper you'll feel this into the psoas. And if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can also lift the left knee towards the chest and hold on with both hands there. And that'll probably deepen that sensation in the front of the right hip. Wonderful. So let's release that left knee, set the left foot down on the mat, and then extend that leg out as you plant the right foot on the mat. So again, pressing that left heel now away from the body, keeping the eyes closed if you'd like. So the psoas is part of the hip flexors. It runs from the vertebrae in our lumbar spine, so our lower spine, along each side of the spine and then attaches to the femur bone in the front of the body. And if you'd like to, you can now pull that right knee in towards the chest, holding on with both hands, deepening that stretch. And the psoas basically helps to create the curvature of our lower spine, which is why it's so closely linked to back pain that many of us suffer from on a regular basis. Beautiful. Let's plant both feet to the mat now. Lift the hips up just to slide the blocks up from out from underneath us, rather. We can simply roll over and we're going to make our way onto hands and knees. So get there anywhere you'd like. Take your time positioning shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And it might feel nice to just take one or two rounds of cat-cow here, or maybe wiggling the hips a little bit. Just do whatever feels good intuitively. And once you're ready, we can flex the right foot and start to kick that heel up towards the ceiling. So going at your own pace, never forcing. You decide how big or how fast you'd like these kicks to be. Keeping just a little bit of engagement in the abs here. So making sure that it's really the right leg that's doing all the work. Great. And we can set that right knee back down. Shake it out a little bit. 
and then with a deep breath, we'll try the other side. So now the left foot flexes. Just keep that left foot flexed as you start kicking up and towards the sky. Just noticing maybe if one side feels a little bit looser, easier, or perhaps more difficult than the other side felt. Just a little dynamic motion here. Great job. You can set that foot down. Then we're just going to roll up to a kneeling position in order to step that right foot forward as if you were proposing marriage. And we'll extend the arms out in front, face the palms out and downward. We're going to twist towards that right knee and back to center. So again, find the pace that works for you today, keeping the elbows straight, wrists nicely flexed and this will probably provide quite a deep sensation into the left hip flexors especially as we twist away wonderful so now you might want to take hold of one or two blocks if you've got them nearby and we're going to come into lizard pose so you might want to scoot that left knee back a little bit We've got both hands now on the inside of that right foot, and you could stay up on a block, up on the palms. Or if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, there's always an option to bring the forearms to the mat. And as always, if this posture feels a little bit too intense for today, there's always another variation. So blocks are a wonderful tool for poses like this one. Wonderful. Plant both hands on the mat if you're down on the elbows. We'll just come back to an all fours position. Shake it out. And eventually stepping that left foot forward into our proposal pose. Extending the arms out, flexing the hands down. And this time we'll be twisting towards the left and back to center. Smiles are always optional, but they do help, as I have found. And again, keeping a little bit of engagement in those abs as well as in the glutes will help ensure that we're really feeling this where we should be. As we place both hands down now to the inside of the left foot, you might want to wiggle the foot out a little bit further to the left or wiggle the back knee back. Finding your expression of lizard, maybe that's forearms onto a block, maybe it's staying up on the hands, maybe getting rid of the block. I will also link in the description box down below to two further videos that I made for quad pain as well as hip flexor stretches, which could be a nice complement to this one. Because our psoas muscle can get so tight for so many of us, it's not a bad idea to stretch it out on a daily basis. Beautiful. Now we can step back now. Place one block towards the middle of your mat as you just walk the hands back. We'll roll up to standing now for a little bit of a challenge. So coming to step the right foot on top of our block here, and you might actually want to come closer to a wall here to help with balance. Once you're there, just start swinging that left leg forwards and back. So the more activity we keep in the abs here, the more that will help with balance. You decide how far up and down that leg swings for today. A little balance exercise as well as we keep that psoas muscle engaged and you can step off now, dance it out a little bit. <laughs> And we'll try the other side, see how it compares. So the left foot steps up onto a block. Maybe we hold onto a wall or a chair and the right leg starts to swing forward and back. And this was my, my tougher side today. You could also do this without standing on a block. It just helps to have a little bit of extra space to swing that leg, find that motion. Wonderful, and then we can step off of the block and let's stretch the arms up for a full 
full body stretch here, holding onto one wrist and then the other. And 10 minutes has made a difference for you and your bodies and minds today, so wonderful job. I hope that you enjoyed this sequence. I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. Please do hit the like button and subscribe for two videos a week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.